All right, coming up next, a matchup to determine the baddest man on the planet. The UFC heavyweight title is on the line. Well, for a long time, he's been mentioned with the baddest men on the planet. For a long time, though, the title fight eluded him. Not anymore. Here he is, the number one heavyweight contender, finally making this walk and cracking a smile. He's waited a long time for this. He's not expecting a 25-minute war. He believes he has the power and the skills to get this thing done quickly. I guess we'll find out. heavyweight champion there he is in the flesh what an absolute monster what a title reign it has been but a serious challenge in front of him here tonight when this man became the heavyweight champion a lot of people thought that this challenger was the one who would wrest the belt away now the fight is here we'll see if we get a new champion or if this man continues one of the greatest heavyweight legacies the octagon has ever seen Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight championship fight. So two years, the gap in age, some differences in height and reach as well. We go inside the octagon. Here's the veteran voice, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBain. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Heavyweight Championship of the world. It's Richardson first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 227 pounds. Fighting out of New York, presenting the challenger, Iron. And now, introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 236 pounds, fighting out of St. Louis, Missouri, USA. Ladies and gentlemen, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, the great. UFC belt on the line, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. It was UFC 217 championship triple header, and it was Thug Rose. It was the most insane night of fighting ever. This big St. Pierre. Cody Garbrandt got knocked out by TJ Dillashaw. Then Rose Namajunas knocked out Ioana Jacek, and he absolutely went crazy. One of the greatest victories of announcers in sports history. It was all three of us. We looked like that poster with the monkeys. See no ah. evil, hear no evil, speak no evil. This was crazy. What a phenomenal night in a great arena. Well, we talked about his reach advantage off the top. Made good use of it there with that punch, DC. Good. All right. All 
Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. What a body kick. And both guys really throwing with authority. Blocks the shots. Unable to connect there. Oh, nice. He went high on that one. Just out of range with that left hook. Big punch lands over the top. How's he going to follow this one up? All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh, just misses with the kick. Uppercut lands for him. Oh, big left hand. We'll see if he can follow it up. Good right here. Oh, nice combination. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Single collar tie now. Right hand punch from the clinch. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Oh, he connects with a the punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch like this puts a smile on my face. Oh, he heard about the jab. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh, massive head kick there. We'll see if he can finish. I mean, he's cutting down the side with these beautiful leg kicks. What a punch. him with that right hand. What a strike that was. What a strike that he is landing over and over again. His opponent will need to make some adjustments. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Paul Brunch land. Now he gets back to range. That is a huge shot right there, DC. You don't need too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. That's a big hook. Every time these guys come together, man, you just hear the, the punches and everything landing. Both, both very powerful, very, very explosive. Oh, big roundhouse attempt just misses. Beautiful strike. Nice defense there. Huge block. Back and forth we go here. You got to check these low leg kicks. with the right hand. So the crowd voicing its appreciation after that round. We had a knockdown courtesy of a punch midway through. DC, here's your highlight. It was straight. He threw him in combination and landed that big punch that really did hurt his opponent. Lesser men would have been done. He's got a tough guy in front of him. He will have to go back to this again. He will have to get back to this action if he wants to get the desired finish. That last round's over. You took his best shots and smiled back at him. Now it's your turn. You have to go. Beautiful counter punch. 
really settling in when it comes to his counterattack here tonight. And again, making good use of what is a huge advantage in reach. Strong defense there to block the shot. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Misses with that punch. Throws the left hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Well, he's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Nice job there to find a home for that jab. Nice movement punch. Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, he got that inside leg kick to the target there, DC. You don't want to eat too many of those. No, you can't. It starts to beat up the inside thigh. That is a technique you use to really slow down your opponent. Can't take many of those. You better check. to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very fast in his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Straight right, he misses. Oh, straight right. Yes. There's no tell on that leg kick. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh, and he connects there. His hands look good to him. So fast. I mean, this guy has tremendous hand speed. Oh, that right hand is on point. Got the single collar tie. Right hand punch the clinch. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. So a much different approach for him here in this second round. He was a little bit tentative in round one, a little bit of a feeling out process. Now he has clearly found his rhythm, found the range. We'll see if he can continue with more activity here in round two. Wow. Oh, that's a nice strike. Just misses there with the left. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Just unable to quite find that range. Head kick is blocked. Look at the force behind that leg kick. Nice slip to avoid the left. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. When that's working, you know he's in for a good night. Single collar tie now. Oh, man, look at that. Picture perfect. Got to the leg, got to his position, got another beautiful takedown. Back to the feet now. Oh, and he countered him there with a beautiful straight right hand. Ooh, big shot lands. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. with the strikes, he continues to light him up. Got to be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you got to like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. It's very tricky. the horn signifying the 
end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner. Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Oh! 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 Snap with the chopper in DC, he is hurt. What a beautiful uppercut. It landed beautifully. Perfect placement on that shot. Oh, he might be out. If you take more of these leg kicks, you will not be able to be very active on your feet. Well, just as he did in the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Nice. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. And they separate. Checks that leg kick. Just missed with the left there. There's no give on that leg kick. Ooh, what a punch. Pretty good right hand. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. Really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Throws the right hand there. Big kick lands. There's the kick, it's blocked. Nice punch there. Big leg kick lands. Oh, collar tie. Right on the button. So he's really starting to put together some significant... Oh, he gets the takedown there. Too easy, Chu. Too easy. He has impeccable timing on these takedown attempts. Well, he's up, but he is hurting for certain the finish could come at any time. Nice punch. Looks like he did stun him a little bit. The dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. Scintillating knock. Yeah, but the whole fight, he was landing great strikes, kicks, punches. He was doing everything right until eventually he found the shot that ended the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes 38 seconds of round number three. Declaring the winner by knockout. And 
champion you don't get them all right dc but you thought this was going to be the result and we got a new champ i mean he has so much power and such an ability to shut the lights off that you almost saw it coming congratulations to the new baddest man on the planet